Hello there everybody, welcome back to Sipping Tim Zanzi. Thank you so much for being here. I just want to talk about this Tabo Besta and Dr. Nandipa situation. I don't even know where to begin. Like here, yeah, she was like, she's in court, she's at home. She, what is going on here? Isn't she supposed to be in jail behind bars? Why is she in some sort of a library doing this um, Zoom meeting, whatever you want to call it, vertically, vertically, whatever you want to call this mess? But my biggest concern is why she's sitting here like a celebrity. Why is she being treated as a celebrity? Why is she wearing makeup? She's wearing pink lipstick. Why is she being treated nothing like what she deserves? She's a criminal. Her and Tabo Besta did a lot of damage. They hurt a lot of families in the name of Imali. And she was being with this man knowing exactly that he is a criminal, a rapist and a murderer. But she did not, she is a mother herself. She has two beautiful daughters, but that did not stop her for, from being in cahoots with this criminal so that she can buy all these cars, luxury cars that she bought, all these Mercedes-Benz here and there, AMGs, just so that she can go and flex on Instagram while she knows exactly that she is a criminal. Now, I'm just going to say that as South Africans, we are being failed a lot. That's why crime keeps on rising. Because here it was that she and her man, Tabo Pesta, were brought from Tanzania by 1.4 million, if I'm not mistaken. So the state took up that money while we having so much load shedding situations and all the other problems, but they had money to go and follow these criminals but now that these criminals are here it's looking much like these criminals are gonna walk especially this dr namdipa mm? she's being treated like she's a victim when she is not a victim she's actually worse i don't even have the name of what to compare her to because of all the crimes that she's committed mm? i just want to say that people need to be very careful because over there you could be sold for your kidneys your kids can go missing any day it's clear that this type of best was also running a trafficking ring you need to be careful you need to be careful of your surroundings careful of everything careful in the ubers careful with people messaging you on facebook because that's how they got to take these girls that they they were human trafficking they will this type of best will message you on Facebook and promise you that you're going to be a model. And this Dr. Nandi Pashi also co-signed documents and girls were trusting because apparently she would call and they would be speaking to a woman and it's Dr. Nandi So she's evil to the core. But now what we're seeing is a charade. It's like, what's happening? And the, and the case has been postponed to 10 June. Now you're trying to tell me that this charade is going to keep going on, on taxpayers' money? This nonsense is going to keep going and going and there's not going to be any resolution because this is very clear. How much evidence do they need to prosecute and lock these people and throw away the key? How much evidence do they need to lock up these two people, these two criminals? Anyways, please subscribe to my channel. I love you all. Thank you for the support. Bye.